Questions and Answers about Chapter 1, Phonetics and Phonology, Peter Roach. 1. What is the main difference between phonetics and phonology, and why does it matter for English pronunciation? Phonetics studies the physical sounds of speech, while phonology focuses on how these sounds function within a particular language's system. This distinction is crucial for understanding both the articulation and the role of sounds in communication. 2. How is a phoneme different from a letter and why is this important in English? A phoneme is a distinct sound that can change the meaning of a word, while a letter is a written symbol. This distinction is important because English spelling often does not directly correspond to its pronunciation. 3. How do phonetics and phonology help in teaching English as a second language? Phonetics and phonology provide the theoretical foundation needed to accurately teach and analyze English pronunciation, which is essential for effective communication in English. 4. Why should we learn English pronunciation through phonemes instead of spelling? Give examples from the chapter. Learning pronunciation through phonemes is essential because English spelling is inconsistent and can mislead learners about the correct pronunciation. For example, the word enough starts with the same vowel sound as inept and ends with the same consonant sound as stuff. 5. Why is it important to learn the IPA symbols for English sounds in this course? The IPA symbols are standardized representations of phonemes, which help learners accurately identify and produce the sounds of English, regardless of spelling inconsistencies. 6. How are accents related to phonemes, and why does this matter in studying English phonology? Accents affect how phonemes are pronounced, influencing phonology's study of sound patterns in English. Understanding phonemes helps learners recognize and adapt to different accents. 7. Why does the course focus on BBC pronunciation, and what does this mean for English learners? The course focuses on BBC pronunciation because it is widely recognized, well-documented, and commonly taught as the standard British accent in English language instruction. 8. What challenges do non-native speakers face with English pronunciation, and how does phonology help with these challenges? Non-native speakers may struggle with English pronunciation due to irregular spelling and unfamiliar sounds. Understanding phonology helps them systematically learn and produce these sounds. 9. How does the chapter explain the role of stress and intonation in English pronunciation, and why are they important? Stress and intonation are key to conveying meaning in English. Phonology studies how variations in stress and pitch can change the meaning of words and sentences, making them essential for effective communication. 10. Why should advanced students and teachers study the theory of phonetics and phonology instead of just practicing pronunciation? Studying the theoretical aspects of phonetics and phonology equips advanced students and teachers with a deeper understanding of language, enabling them to teach and analyze English pronunciation more effectively.